Welcome back everyone. So today we're doing a bit of maintenance on the uh, BMW. Unfortunately it's developed the low pressure um, sort of screen wash fault uh, which looking online seems to be quite a regular thing where if you don't get the concentrations correct in the in the screen wash or you mix brands and so on um, basically sludge and slime develops in the bottom of the uh, reservoir uh, it clogs up the two sort of mesh filters uh, that resulting in um, basically no 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 pressure at all you get you spray it you get a good bit of pressure to start with and then it sort of goes down to a dribble so what i'm going to do i'll show you two uh two things today one is sort of like an emergency quick fix which within reason is just sort of uh open up the bonnet blowing back down the pipes try and blow the, the gunk off the the two filters which will momentarily fix it to be able to get you home but eventually all you're going to be doing is sucking the gunk back up into those filters from the bottom of the reservoir um, and the second is how we get to the reservoir take it out and then clean it um, so they're the, the two things we're going to do today so like i say the emergency quick fix um, is just sort of blowing back the pipes just to blow the gunk off the filters and then obviously you will have to um, clean them anyway later because all it'll do is suck the gunk back up but what you need to do is uh, lift the bonnet up open up the reservoir filler catch and then basically pop these down these just pop off the little suction pads there and what you have here is the little join here and all you do is you can push in the white bit i can't really do it one-handed but basically what you want to do where you've got the pipe there and the white bit push the white clip in and that'll pull that pipe out um i'll quickly do that um and then i'll show you okay so little change we don't don't push it in with this little white clip it just pops down so all i did was get a little flat screwdriver just in the top just to pop it down and then basically you're left with this bit which is sort of like the the feed for the tube okay what you can do what you need to do if you have if you're at home i've got one of these sort of sealant fillers you can oh, try and do this left-handed it's not very easy basically put that into the tube like that and then basically blow down the tube pushing all the fluid back out and you'll hear it bubbling in coming out the reservoir um but obviously if it's an emergency and you're not you haven't got one of those sealant tubes to be fair last time i just put my mouth around there it's not exactly dirty put my mouth around there blow the blue day on it and that, and that did exactly that um that should momentarily clear the filters um but like i say that's a momentary thing and you will have to like take the filters out and clean the gunk out of the tank otherwise it will just suck the gunk up next time after a while anyway um but i'll uh, show you that bit now Okay, to get to the reservoir tank, um, you need to go front right of the vehicle. And what you're going to need to do is remove this inner lining here, because the tank sits up in here. So what you've, what you've got is a combination of 8 mil, eight mil bolts, and then you've got some little push, push studs, which is the usual uh, centre push studs. And then underneath uh, here, I think you've got a couple of torque bits as well. Um, hopefully, where it joins in the middle here, I'm just going to loosen the front one and we'll be able to slide the rear pan out, otherwise it will be a case of, um, and I've got a few down here as well, um, a case of um, taking out both wheel arches, but um, I'll give that a go and then I'll get back to you. So once you've removed loads of 8mm, 10mm and torque 30 bits, um, you can pop out the wheel arch what i have found you can get away with just removing the rear um but the bolt you need is that one there once you undo that bolt the here's the washer reservoir it's just hinged on this bit here it's just like a little hook hinge like a almost like a uh, c-shaped c claw so once you've um once you've undone that bolt, which is sitting just behind that front bit there, that bolt there, once you've undone that, you should be able to just rock the reservoir forward, um, and then that will be the reservoir out. 
one thing I did forget to mention before you can take the pipe out um, you need to take the fillet undo the filler neck which is held on by a little fillet screw there and then this pipe just pulls out of the feed pipe to the reservoir uh, and then you'll be able to drop the reservoir down that's what I've done here I've just tipped it forward and just emptying it out into a bucket um, and then basically what you got is still still connected so be careful but basically here is the feed pump and the sensor all the gunk is in the bottom there so what we do that just pops out and pulls out and I'll show you the filter in a second with the fuel pump it just pushes in to this little bung here now I'll just pull this bung out this has got the right little filter in but as you can see straight away you see all that gunk that's actually got try and get it filled that's got a mesh mesh thing there and it's just full of gunk so what I'm gonna do is I have seen people say about using drain cleaner and stuff but I'm hoping if I just get a hose and put the hose through the bottom there blast some water in with the hose put that in some warm water clean all the gunk out of that mesh filter because that, that apparently there is if you look really closely there is a bit of silver there which happens to be the mesh so I'll get that all that cleaned out and then we'll put it back together and there you go there is the filter all nice and clean I've washed it all out inside um, you can see sort of here it's all sitting a bit gungy but we did put the hose in wash it about a bit um, so it's just a case of now just bung in the uh, putting the filter back in the hole uh, and putting it all back together well that's all everything uh, back together I filled the uh, reservoir back up with uh, genuine BMW concentrate uh, did it to the manufacturer's guidelines which I believe I had a little 50 mil bottle um, which was like a couple of quid um, that does five liters which is pretty much just over the reservoir so I basically did I used a two litre bottle and basically sort of did half a bottle as we, as I went along um, it's probably just slightly under uh, concentration levels but it will do and I've got a little bit left just in case I need to top it up next time but um I'll spin the camera around in a second and I'll show you everything is working a lot better. It's spraying constantly. Obviously, that gunge was causing the, the issue. Um, as always, I hope the video was helpful. Um, if it is, please like uh, the video. Um, please look to subscribe to the channel. I've got quite a bit going on. I've still got a bit to for the, the BMW. Um, I think tomorrow I might be putting a sub in um, just because my little one thinks it's funny um i've got a couple more bits on the bmw to come along exhaust and so, so on and so on uh, a little bit more on the smart um and then quite a bit more coming up on the bikes um, we've just purchased um three more bikes um a couple of bsa's and um and so on so uh we have a look to do a little bit more of a project on them um and also picking up on the land rover land rover land rover after it's uh epic journey to morocco from london to morocco and back again all in one piece um that needs an absolute tear down and reclean so um we we'll probably have a few videos on that a couple of product reviews and so on um as always please um any queries questions put them in the comments section any sort of videos that you want help on or any help at all i will leave the emails email address in the details if not just put it in the comments section and I'll, and I'll pick it up. I'm pretty quick at getting back to you. So, um, yep, I'll uh, I'll see you in the next one.